because I guess last year and then the year before we had a lot of new exciting uh, things that's happening in triple negative breast cancer mainly the checkpoint inhibitor you know anti pd1 pdl1 in early and late stage of breast cancer as well as the antibody drug conjugate you know we excited a lot of people we are using that already in the clinic unfortunately this year i don't feel that there's a strong uh, one therapeutics that we can say well this medication is going to change the uh, practice tomorrow however However, I think, for example, the same category as Ocesituzumab that is targeting TROP2, there was a new antibody that has came up, and that drug, um, there's new questions of paradigm, even within the triple negative breast cancer, can we use the same target but using the different therapeutics and subsequently treat the patient and still have the efficacy, so that's one area. But more importantly, I think now we are at the point with the ESMO, ASCO, San Antonio last year, this year, all together, we're at the point that we can even create a treatment algorithm. So like, for example, Hope Rugo presented this algorithm where we used to have no therapeutics after they're done with the local therapy, but now we can even segregate them into, okay, you don't need any more therapeutics. So you're gonna get the capsidum, you're gonna get the pembrolizumab, you may need the olaparib. So I think actually there's more options of therapeutics, which is very exciting.